If you or a loved one is experiencing mild to moderate confusion related to Alzheimer's disease, your doctor may prescribe galantamine HBR capsule, extended release pellets 24 hours, this medication does not cure Alzheimer's disease, but it may help improve memory, awareness, and the ability to perform daily functions by restoring the balance of certain natural substances in the brain. It is important to take this medication as prescribed by your doctor for the best results. Typically, the recommended daily dosage is once daily in the morning with food. Remember to always follow your doctor's instructions and take this medication at the same time each day. When taking galantamine HBR capsule, extended release pellets 24 hours, it's important to follow your doctor's directions. Typically, you'll take this medication once a day in the morning with breakfast. If needed, you can take it on an empty stomach. Make sure to drink plenty of fluids unless told otherwise. Your doctor will gradually increase your dosage to minimize side effects, and the amount you take will depend on your condition and response to treatment. Remember to swallow the capsules whole and not to crush or chew them. Doing so could affect the medication's effectiveness and increase the chance of side effects. If you stop taking galantamine for a few days, talk to your doctor or pharmacist before starting again. They may need to adjust your dosage to minimize side effects and then gradually increase it. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Consistent use of this medication is important to get the most benefit from it. Do not stop taking it or change the dosage unless your doctor tells you to do so. It may take at least four weeks of continued use before you notice the full benefit of this drug. If you notice your condition getting worse, be sure to tell your doctor. Some common side effects of galantamine HBR may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, drowsiness, loss of appetite, and weight loss. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. However, if you experience any serious side effects such as slow heartbeat or difficulty urinating, it's important to notify your doctor immediately. Very serious side effects may include seizures, black or bloody stools, bloody vomit, severe stomach pain, fast or irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness, fainting, or signs of a serious allergic reaction such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical help right away. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you experience any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking galantamine, it is important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies to it or to daffodil plants, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems. Before using this medication, it's important to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have liver problems, kidney problems, stomach-slash-intestinal problems, heart problems, breathing-slash-lung problems, seizures, or problems urinating. This drug may cause dizziness or drowsiness and alcohol or marijuana can increase these effects. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or doing anything that requires alertness until you can do it safely. Limiting alcoholic beverages is also important and it's crucial to talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. Galantamine may cause a condition that affects the heart rhythm, known as cutie prolongation. This can rarely cause serious fast or irregular heartbeat, as well as other symptoms that require immediate medical attention. The risk of QT prolongation may be increased if you have certain medical conditions or are taking other drugs that may cause QT prolongation. It's important to discuss all of the drugs you take and any medical conditions with your doctor before using galantamine. Low levels of potassium or magnesium in the blood may also increase the risk of QT prolongation. This risk may increase if you use certain drugs or if you have conditions such as severe sweating, diarrhea, or vomiting. It's important to talk to your doctor about using galantamine safely. Before having surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially QT prolongation. During pregnancy, this medication should only be used when clearly needed and it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. 
It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with galantamine HBR capsule, extended release pellets 24 hours, be sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Other medications can affect the removal of galantamine from your body, which may affect how galantamine works. Examples include amitriptyline, azole antifungals, such as ketoconazole, quinidine, SSRI antidepressants, such as paroxetine, among others. Always consult with your healthcare professional for personalized guidance. If you or someone you know has taken too much galantamine HBR capsule, extended release pellets 24 hours and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or having trouble breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include muscle weakness or twitching, severe stomach cramping, slow or shallow breathing, slow-slash-fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, fainting, and seizures. It's important not to share this medication with others. It's worth noting that galantamine may cause loss of appetite and weight loss, so it's crucial for your doctor to monitor your weight before and during treatment with this medication. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Be sure to store this medication at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the reach of children and pets. When you no longer need the medication or it reaches its expiration date, make sure to consult with your pharmacist or local waste disposal company on the proper way to dispose of it. Avoid flushing it down the toilet or pouring it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.